One of the most frequently occurring issues, especially for beginners, is losing a sprite. If you actually delete your sprite by, for example, right-clicking it and selecting delete or accidentally dragging it over to the palette, there's unfortunately no way to get it back. You then have to recreate a new sprite by clicking here. If you still have your sprite in the sprite coral here, there are still several ways how your sprite could have escaped the stage. How you can get it back depends on how it left the stage. One of the following things might have happened. You moved your sprite outside the boundaries of the stage. The left and right boundary of the stage are x-240 and x240 respectively and y-180 and 180. If you move your sprite outside of those boundaries by, for example, telling it to go to x0, y400, where it's now somewhere up here, you can't unfortunately see it anymore because it left the stage. If I click on its Y position, you can see that it's at Y400. The visible part of the stage is only Y180. You can get back your sprite by clicking on the Go to X0, Y0 block from the motion category. Yay! You experimented with graphic effects and suddenly your sprite was gone? Maybe you made it invisible with the ghost effect. The ghost effect makes a sprite transparent and with the ghost effect of 100, a sprite gets fully transparent. Here you can see that my sprite has a ghost effect of 100 and I can't see it on the stage anymore. I can get rid of that graphic effect by clicking on the clear graphic effects block which I can find here in the looks category. Yay! Oopsie, I hid my sprite. With the hide and show blocks from the looks category, I can hide and show my sprite. With this hexagonal predicate, I can find out whether a sprite is shown or not. If I click on it, I can now see that it's not shown because the shown predicate reports false. To get the block back or unhide it, I can just click on the show block. Yippee! Your sprite might have gotten super small when experimenting with its size. Setting the size to zero makes your sprite basically invisible because it's so small. You can find out what the, what the size of a sprite is by clicking on the size reporter that you can find in the looks category. The size of my sprite is currently 1 because that's the smallest size we can do, but one pixel is super small and I can't see my sprite. To get back its original size and make it visible again, I can just click on the set size to 100 block, which I can also find in the looks category. And here it is. This usually doesn't happen to beginners, but some of the advanced snappers like experimenting with the rotation point of a sprite. Usually a rotation point of a sprite is at its center or at the center of the costume. However, I can set the rotation center to, to different spots. In this case, for example, I set the rotation X point to 400. If I now go to X0, Y0, my sprite is not visible anymore because the sprite actually is now at position minus 400 because the rotation center is at 0, 0. We can check that with the my rotation X and my center X blocks from the sensing category. You can find them here. If I click on my rotation X, the rotation center actually is at the center of the stage. However, the center X of the sprite's costume is at minus 490.
to get the rotation center back to the actual center of the costume, you can just use the set block from the variables category. If you click on that drop down menu here, you can then get to the My option. Here you can also see the rotation X and rotation Y. To set the rotation center back to the center X and center Y of the sprite, you can select it here and then drag the center X into the empty input slot. If I click on that block now and then reorientate my sprite to the center of the stage, I got it back.